I remember the sensation of nicotine and thinking like, this is why people get addicted to it. I'm addicted to it and that's, that's the bad thing. These teens are warning their peers about the dangers of e-cigarettes, the battery powered devices that provide users with puffs of nicotine. While most medical experts agree that vaping is safer than cigarettes, they're still addictive and little is known about their long-term health effects. Like all my best friends are like addicted to nicotine. In this YouTube video, they call themselves Jewelers Against Jewel. It's a reference to one of the most popular brands of e-cigarettes on the market called Jewel. Jack Waxman, who has never used a Jewel himself, produced the video because he says he saw too many of his friends getting addicted. It makes me feel bad because I know that these companies are intentionally deceiving my friends and I want to do everything I can to prevent that from happening. Jewel obviously targets younger like kids buy the fruits. I mean the fruit flavors and like the limited edition like cucumber and mint. The size of it and, and the look of it just make it almost invisible to adults. The makers of Juul say it's intended for adults who are trying to quit smoking and they say they support legislation to raise the minimum age for vaping products to 21 years old nationwide. Although the use of Juul products is widespread among teens, Waxman's message and other efforts might be starting to resonate. A new government survey found that teen vaping is holding steady after years of surging popularity. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention questioned 20,000 students in grades 6 through 12. One in five high schoolers had used some sort of tobacco product recently, and one in nine had vaped. Among middle schoolers, one in 30 said they'd vaped, which was a decrease from the year before. Cigarette smoking, meanwhile, has continued its decline among teens. Experts warn, however, that because the CDC study didn't specifically ask about jewel branded e-cigs, the data might have been skewed, since studies have shown that many teens don't consider jewels to be e-cigarettes at all. So vaping might have actually increased. We've seen it really spike the usage uh, this year, specifically over the last three months. Schools have long been at the front lines of nicotine prevention. Plain Edge High School in Long Island, New York is among the first schools to install new highly sensitive sensors in bathrooms that can detect e-cigarette vapor. Superintendent Edward Salina says while he's doing everything in his power to educate kids, more needs to be done at the federal level to regulate their sale. The reality is, is that I believe since the FDA is not rushing to regulate these devices at this point in time, they are capitalizing on children and they're looking to target these children in order to, I guess, breed the next generation of smokers as far as I'm concerned. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.